that's messed up. So you mean to tell me out of all my Facebook friends, all my subscribers on YouTube, all my friends in person, all my family, not one person had the decency to let me know that you may fit the description of a Mr. Steve Stevens. Not one, not one. So I wake up this morning, I receive a text message saying, be safe out there, bro. Every cop in America is looking for a six foot tall black male with a bald head and a beard. I fit that, that, that description. Now, as you dig a little bit deeper, you may see that I really don't fit the description. I'm five foot 11. I am bald, I just shaved like two days ago. I do have a beard, but I don't weigh 244 pounds. Now to someone who is not paying attention to all the details, I may fit that description. So I get on the train today and um, having this news in my head, I was a little nervous. I get on the train and I see literally the entire train is staring at me, staring at me, watching me walk to my seat. So I'm on the phone with my boy at this time and he's like cracking up. So I'm like, yo, what's so funny? What's so funny? So he's like, let me take a guess. Everybody's watching you. I'm like, bro, they're like literally watching me walk to my seat. So he starts crack cracking up. He's like, yo, it's because you look like so-and-so. I'm like, are you, are you kidding me? So-and-so is Steve Stevens. I don't really want to say his name because he's a piece of shit. But anyway, so for those of you who don't know who Steve Stevens is, uh, long story short, he's the guy that killed the guy, uh, Mr. Robert Goodwin Sr. on Facebook. He streamed it or he didn't actually stream it. They later found out um, it was a video recording he re-uploaded to YouTube of him shooting this man in broad daylight. Steve Stevens, um, to give you some background on the whole context of the situation, uh, Steve Stevens was dumped by his girlfriend. Him and his girl were going through some problems. Steve Stevens basically went up to Mr. Robert Goodwin Sr. and said to him, say her name. And he's like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Robert Goodwin Sr. is a 74-year-old man, um, grandfather of many, father of nine. He had absolutely no idea what was going on. He just left a family function, a family dinner with his children. This happened on Easter Sunday, so he probably just left Easter dinner and he's walking. Steve Stevens, long story short, walks up to him, pulls a weapon on him, tells him, say her name. He's like, I don't, I don't even know who that is. I don't even know who that is. And he goes, found me somebody I'm going to kill right before pulling the trigger. This guy right here, this old dude, and shot him posted it to Facebook. It took so long for Facebook. Now, I don't dislike Facebook. I don't hate Mark Zuckerberg. I don't hate the people that work at uh, Facebook. But the fact that this video stayed up for three hours before they actually took it down, to me, just blows my mind. Um, so basically, he walked up to this man, killed him, drove away, and he's been on a run for two whole days. Two days straight. It didn't even dawn on me the whole time that I might possibly fit this description. Because when I saw the picture, I just see a bald black dude with a beard. Think nothing of it. But that's the mindset of other people. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. So two days pass, he's still on a run. Apparently on Sunday, not Sunday, um, Monday, I think it was Monday afternoon, schools were shut down early. They had schools on lockdown because he was apparently seen in Pennsylvania. Um, still hasn't been caught. All these cops searching for this man in a white Ford, I think it was a Ford Focus or something like that. Big burly black dude in a white Ford Focus. They couldn't find him. Last night, still no word. Get up this morning. The manhunt is still on. I'm still nervous. Now they have other states on watch. Uh, I think it was like Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, um, Michigan, like a bunch of other places on watch for this man. Now, I'm walking through the city, basically sweating, shitting bricks, um, hoping that someone doesn't mistake me for this man and then I get attacked. I'm nervous as shit. Um, think nothing of it. Get to work. I tell someone else, like, yo, I didn't even think about this. Dude starts cracking up, like, yo, you do look like a skinny version of him. I'm like, what the fuck? Why did you tell me this? Two days, two whole days passed. No one said anything. <laughs> so I fit the description for the first time, and it happens to be of, like, the most shittiest piece of shit. Like, terrible. So not to detract from the situation, but... Um, you know, Mr. Robert Goodwin Sr. 
uh, apparently this was a completely, I don't even want to say isolated incident because it was completely, um, it, it just didn't make sense to me. This man was a 74 year old man who has lived through ev literally everything. He's been through countless wars. He's seen poverty. He's seen segregation. He survived segregation. He survived civil war. He survived everything. He survived the market crash to be taken out in the street like somebody's grandfather like i it this story just bothered me on so many different levels um and then i go on twitter which i like to do here and there and i see all these people talking about how this is a hoax and how this is not real and all this bullshit and you know people trying to present these facts because now all of a sudden everyone on the internet is a blood splatter expert. They can tell because the way the trajectory from the bullet went and the blood splattered, it couldn't have been real. Like, the fuck are you talking about? Like, don't disrespect the man. Don't disrespect the man's family. Like, it's some conspiracy theory now, right? Um, I heard something. Somebody said this is the NRA's way of basically trying to prove that everyone needs to have a concealed weapon. Mr. Robert Goodwin Sr. was 74, so even if he had a concealed weapon, I mean, what's the likeliness that he would have been able to pull it fast enough? I'm just saying. Oh, by the way, little known fact, Steve Stevens did have a concealed weapons carry permit, so there goes that theory. Guys, don't believe everything you read on the internet. Just like those people who are telling me that this story is a complete hoax, telling me don't believe everything that I've read or that I've seen. Um, yeah, I guess Steve Stevens is an amazing videographer because it looked pretty real to me. Anyway, guys, this was a tragic situation. Um, you know, again, I don't mean to detract from the situation, um, that, that actually happened, that transpired, but I feel for his family. I feel for his children. The fact that this man made it to 74 years of life to be taken out in the street is absolutely mind boggling to me. And it just show you how wonderful of a man this was. The day after his body laid in the street, his children said, we're not mad at you. We don't hate you. We don't hate you to Steve Stevens, not to him directly, but they made a statement saying, we don't hate you. We just want to give you a hug. Those are some good people, because I'm telling you right now, if somebody murders somebody I know in the middle of the street, fuck a hug. That's the last thing I want to give you. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I hate that I had to bring such a tragic story to light. I just had to let you guys know that screw you for not telling me. Like, seriously, not giving me a forewarning. Like, bro, wear a hat, something, cover that bald ass head, you know, fucking braid your beard, something. I could have put some cornrows in it, something, so I don't fit the description. I thought about that, but then I said, oh, somebody might think I'm trying to cover up the description whatever anyway guys thanks for tuning in um as always please feel free to subscribe please feel free to like stay blessed relieve that stress and thank you bye